Now to the long anticipated news that President Joe Biden is running for re-election. The timing of the president's announcement is significant as today marks four years to the day when he declared his 2020 election campaign. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest from the White House. President Joe Biden officially launching his 2024 re-election campaign, receiving a warm welcome at an event today in Washington, touting his economic plan for rebuilding the middle class. Our economic plan is working. We now have to finish the job, but there's more to do. The president releasing a video this morning that opens with images of Trump supporters engaged in the deadly January 6 attack on the Capitol. Mr. Biden stating the fight for democracy is not over. Freedom. Biden drawing a stark contrast between himself and those he called MAGA extremists, who he says are lining up to take away bedrock freedoms. Dictating what health care decisions women can make, banning books and telling people who they can love. At 80 years old, President Biden is already the oldest president in U.S. history. A new NBC News survey found 70 percent of Americans, including 51 percent of Democrats, believe the president should not seek a second term. Half the voters who don't want Biden to run again say his age is a major factor. But while the president has acknowledged his age is a concern for others, in an interview with ABC's David Muir, he brushed it off as a non-issue for his performance in office. And the only thing I can say is watch me. This announcement setting up a potential rematch between Biden and former President Donald Trump, who is now 76 years old and has even less support than Biden in the poll. Trump releasing his own video after Biden's. It is almost inconceivable that Biden would even think of running for re-election. Not a lot of people are clamoring for a rematch, but I'll tell you, Democrats remember how the first one turned out and are pretty happy about the result. Vice President Kamala Harris and Supreme Court Justice Ketanji Brown-Jackson were prominently featured in the campaign video, appearing to send a message to voters that diversity is still a priority. And President Biden is expected to easily cinch the Democratic nomination. M. Wynn, ABC News, The White House.